Hey, hey. Okay, so um, I want to show you guys something. I'm pretty happy about this. Hang on, hang on. Open. Open the door. Thank you. Don't die bomb on me. I still need to put slabs up there. It's one of my to-do list signs. It's half slabs up there to uh, make it so mobs don't dive bomb me, which has happened. I was just here a couple minutes ago, and, a, and thankfully it was just a zombie, but, you know, they jump off. They're like half dead anyway, but... Um, so, um, new players coming to the server, and, you know, in, in, until people get set up, it's kind of nice to not have to worry about... Um, <clears throat> having to worry about the little things. Um, personally, I wouldn't take advantage of something like what I'm about to show you guys because uh, I like to earn everything that I get, but sometimes what I what I would use this for is, you know, when you're going to go off an adventure and, you know, let, let's say you don't want to have to worry about losing your best stuff. You want to have, like, a second string or maybe even a third string set of armor or weapons and such. So I built this. So this is our gear exchange. Okay, we got weapons, tools, armor, and food. So for food, I could put these melons right there, right? And see for armor, nothing to add. Now this is all stuff that I've gotten from zombies, right? Some of it's pretty decent. Look at that thorns, right? Let's see, you got some uh, Aqua Affinity and Respiration. Uh, respiration. Yeah, there's some pretty sweet gear in here. So, uh, yeah, so I thought this is a better place to keep it than it. And look at this, Fortune on a Shovel, right? Total waste, but hey, there you go. Um, I've been keeping this stuff and in, in my storage room, and I thought, you know what? I might as well open it up to other people and allow other people to also, you know, uh, put their their used gear in here as well uh, to help, again, to help out new players, but then also, you know, for established players who don't want to waste their good stuff. Because, you know, if I was going on an adventure, I would not want to bring diamond gear with me. Would not. Because if you died and you're way out in the middle of nowhere, it's going to be impossible to go get it back. So, yeah. Oh, uh, I finally got some... Uh, I just uh, got this guy repaired, but uh, I finally got some diamond gear here, diamond tools. I've been kind of camping at the XP machine, which is how I got all that gear, and yeah, so that's worked out really well. Let's see, what else do I want to show you guys? Oh, yeah. <laughs> finish this. Well, somewhat finished it. So, just like I showed you guys, right? Pretty sweet. So you guys will see where the uh, how it's not complete here in just a second. Then it goes down here, and then whoop, jump. <laughs> Makes me think of uh, <laughs> Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> uh, so uh, those are regular blocks going down that side, and then this side is stairs for the event that something like this happens, or... Uh, you lose your mine card or you don't have one, you can still get use out of this. So, And then, boom, puts you right here. And then straight that way is is the, uh, what you call it, the um, words, nether fortress, yes. So last episode we talked about, you know, whether I wanted to have, like, maybe have a tunnel that would then go, like, from there, uh, under here... And, you know, would put you out, like, back here. I may do that still, but I kind of like how it is right now. So, for right now, I'm going to leave it. Oh, yeah, check that out. I think it looks pretty sweet, actually. Let me know what you guys think. But I, I think it looks cool, and it's definitely secured. And that looks nice from that side. And that looks nice from that side. And I don't really do much with aesthetics, but I definitely like the look of it. And it kind of demonstrates my my preferred building theme, you know, simplicity but diversity at the same time. You know, cobble on the ground, stone brick on the sides, and slabs on the top. You can kind of see it here, too. So this is still somewhat protected. Even if it blows up, no big deal. 
Um, you're not really going to lose anything here. I, I don't know. I don't think that uh, I don't think that the jacks are uh, blast resistant to the um, what you call it, the crying babies. The um, man, my words aren't flowing today. Guess, but uh, yeah. So I wanted you guys to see all that stuff, and want to see if maybe we can go on a hunt here. I've been on the hunt for two things: quartz, so I can finish my. Uh, the tunnel to to Desolot. And as you saw, I've got this nearly finished. This uh, this tunnel nearly finished here. Um, all it needs is rails. I got all the power rails in there, I think. Um, all the individual power ones, which are marked off with those. Um, but I do need a bunch of regular rails, which means I need to do some caving. Uh, and then I'm also hoping to find more wither skeletons here or more importantly uh, their skulls. I've been coming here every once in a while when I get bored and trying to kill them and I have yet to get any more skulls. I still just have the one. Now even once I do get them and I can spawn the wither it doesn't mean I'm going to. Um, I watched Etho fight one solo and I think he's not on hard <clears throat> and if he if he's not on hard, then I'm doomed for when, because uh, the fight on hard is gonna be a lot. Of, where are all them freaking gur? All I see are zombie pigmen. I don't see anything else. I mean, normally there's a bunch of you know those. Um, man, my brain is just not working today. Bunch of uh, not gas, but um, can't think of what those things are called. Anyway, yellow fiery death guys. Um, I try not to go near those spawners because then they'll they'll generate. But they they do now just kind of randomly spawn here on in uh, Nether fortresses. So I got to be careful with that. But um, yeah. Anyway, so and it, it, if if he had you know it was if it wasn't easy for him on easy or normal, then here on hard on on the server it's going to be dang near impossible. But, uh, yeah, so I've been looking around for quartz. Like, I'll go off, like, uh, since there's no mobs here, I'll step out and come back. I'll show you guys what I've been doing. I'll just kind of pick a random direction here and go explore, looking for quartz. I mean, there are places where I can see quartz, like, say, right there, that I'm not going to get to because of the lava. And I'm choosing not to because I'm lazy. Now, those are more accessible, but... If you kind of look this way, there's a huge drop, and I'm about to die. Oh, boy. Whew. Where did he come from? Where is he at? Where is he at? I'm ready. Where? Okay, I don't see him. Okay, what's over here? <laughs> no oh, quartz, and of course I didn't build it. I didn't bring any blocks with me to get that quartz, which means <laughs> I have to grab me some, even though I got like tons of netherrack. All right, that should be close enough. I think my favorite part about or not, yeah, my favorite part about uh, collecting quartz is they give you levels, or excuse me, give you XP like nobody's business. It's pretty awesome. Okay, that one's going to be over the cliff there. It's going to be... Ooh! Accessible quartz. Accessible quartz. Ooh. Ooh. Ledge. Ooh, level waterfall. Dangerous. Okay. And for those that are wondering the, why I'm carrying uh, all these stone pickaxes, it's because of all the quality time that I've been spending in here lately. Because uh, all this netherrack will just... Because the thing is, is your tools have a durability, and it doesn't matter what you hit. Well, in some cases it matters what you hit if you're using the wrong tool. Um, like, you know, using your sword on one thing might uh, take a double hit, like on leaves or something like that, but... Uh, uh, when, when it comes to the, oh, there you go. When it comes to the picks, 
it's just a matter of breaks. So if you're going around breaking up all this netherrack like crazy, you're going to take a lot more hits on on your tool. Now, if you look at the overall durability, 1561 compared to, was it 251 or something? Oh, 131. Um, you know, it lasts longer, right? But the thing is, is why waste it? You know, why not use it on something that requires a harder pick? You know, something like uh, diamond or, you know, obsidian. All right, now, wasn't there more? Oh, yeah, there it is. Ugh, I hate this stuff. It makes you slow. All right, well, that is a... That is a giant repository or vein or whatever you want to call it. All right. So you can watch my XP bar go up with each one. I mean, it's ridiculous. Unfortunately, with all the deaths that I was having lately, I probably... Uh, now I'm going to up it and probably say, you know, three full enchants of level 30. But uh, that's part of the game. I can't be too upset about it. Although I feel bad when I'm seeing some of the newer players on the server die, even like the established ones, because they... Oops, don't want to go that way. I saw a ghast. Uh... You know, they're they're new and don't have a bunch of gear, and, and some of them are even established and are just not used to playing on hard mode. So, <laughs> I kind of like want to chuckle to make fun of them, for, especially for the players that, have, that actually know the game, but I don't want to be too mean about it. Plus, I know that some of them, uh, you know, some of them watch this show, so. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go back. So I found another cave. It uh, well, I mean, there's tons of caves, but like one that was, you know, would be worth interesting. They're worth interesting. Wow. I already have my coffee. I swear. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I am so gonna wreck you. Oof. Oh, I, I got him, didn't I? I got him. Yes, he did. Um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, so I. Saw another cave of interest, and uh, it's over. Uh, I'm not going to show it this episode, but I will in a future one. I'm thinking. I still never. I still need to go back to that one cave. Um, that one cave where we spent all those episodes. Okay, now how do I get out of here? Anyone remember? Help. Uh, because I, I still want to finish that one. I think you go that way. Uh, but this one, I was just, I decided I want to go off on a little adventure, see if I can find some iron. Yep, this is the right way. Oh, look how nice and easy that is to recognize. Um, oof. I would love to get down there and get all that quartz. Dang. Um, I'm going to hide out here for a second. Um, water. Pardon me. So I went looking for iron and found this little cave. And it's not far. It's not far away. If um, It's kind of like halfway between mine and Mal's house. So, all right. Oh, I can see a ghast right there. He's going to fire at me. Here he comes. Oh, that's coming right at me. Oof. You can actually, if you hit him by either punch... Oh, goodness. By punching or hitting your arrow onto it. Oh, there we go. Swing, bada, bada, bada. <laughs> You can actually send it the projectile back at him and kill him with it, which is kind of nice. But their drops are called gas tears, and they're like pretty much the rarest item I know of. Um, uh oh, ouch. Um, problem is, is usually when you kill these guys, they're over lava, and the gas tear will just be destroyed in the lava. So it's kind of sucky. Okay, let's go. Yeah, let's get down there. I want, I want, I want all this quartz here. Okay, safest way down is gonna be what? Oh gosh, this cliff is huge. I don't think I'm gonna make it. Even if I safely plan to get there, I don't know that I really have a way to do that. Oof. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hang on. Wait a tick. I might be able to. I might be able to if I do it from down here. 
Yes, I can do this. No. No, no, no. Okay, jumping, jumping, jumping. He was gonna shoot me in love. I wasn't careful there. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. He was over land. What did he drop? Oh. Gunpowder. I have lots of gunpowder, but I don't have as lots of tears. Alright, cool. The best thing about killing a ghast, honestly, is making that noise stop. <laughs> to me, it sounds like a crying baby. Uh, my 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 wife was watching me play the other, or not watching me play, but she kind of walked in the walked in the room when I was playing, and and I was in here and working on uh, working on the you know the tunnel, and and uh, she goes, "Is that a cat?" <laughs> I'm like, no, no, quite a bit larger than a cat, <laughs> and a lot more dangerous and annoying. Although the cats in this game, when they sit on top of your, you know, chest, can be pretty annoying. Ooh, look at all the pretty quartz! Look at all the pretty quartz! Yeah, look at my levels already. Crazy sauce. I'm actually surprised that this stuff hasn't been nerfed. But I, I'm thinking so many people just they hate two things in this game and two things only. They hate the Nether and they hate redstone. So, it's probably like a nice reward for people that are brave enough to come into the nether. I don't know. That's just my theory. Okay, what else have we got here? A little bit more. Um, get up there. Use your jumping. There we go. Ooh, more. Wow. Wow. Big old vein here. Yeah, this... Uh, <clears throat> I was not actually intending on uh, coming in here and doing some... You know, going on a quartz hunt, but... Uh, this uh, new style of play that we're doing here, which honestly is more true to a let's play than... Uh, you know, hey, I'm going to go do this and then watch me do it and then I show you after the fact. That's... Uh, it's not even the kind of stuff I like to watch anyway. I mean, I do like to know, you know, hey, we're going to go to this and then see it see it all through. I do like that aspect of it, but it's not true Let's Play. Um, so I'm enjoying this not having a goal thing and kind of going where the wind takes me or as my thought process walks us through it. Because um, I had no intention of coming here, but now I'm being productive. That's awesome. Because I always worry that I'm not being productive while on camera with you guys. Wow, look at all the quartz we're getting. Yes. I think that I'm going to finish my tunnel. And I also think I'm going to have leftover quartz. I'm not sure what to do with it. It does look very, like, you know, Roman. How cool would it be to make a giant statue out of it? But it would take an absolute ton of it. And I just... That would not be... Uh, <laughs> That would not be, well, I don't want to say cost effective, but it would not be resource, uh, you know, would not be wise resources wise. Um, okay, I, would, I think I can probably get that. Maybe. Possibly. Uh, I'm also one of those uh, players that doesn't like to leave disgusting bridges and things like that everywhere, but. Nether's pretty ugly as it is. Come here, come here, come here. Oh, no, that's not what I wanted. Go away. You, there. Yes. Gimme. Alright. So I really don't have a use for this stuff after the, after the, um, <clears throat> after I finish my tunnel, but I do know that to build the actual beacon itself, it does require a little bit, I think. I mean, not a, not much. I think it's like uh, one or two or something, and then like a uh, piece of glass and some obsidian, ugh, some obsidian, something like that. Okay. I don't see any others that are within uh, low-hanging fruit range. And now I'm lost. <laughs> I... I don't remember how I got here. I remember I jumped down. 
from somewhere. Great, another ghast. Super fun. Wow, more. Um, I think maybe I jumped down from up there. Maybe. No. Mm hmm. Possibly. I don't know. Ah! Get out of my way! Jeez. Oh! Wow. And that's why you don't stand on, on top of whatever it is you're breaking. Because that would have sucked. Right now, my fear, though, is that these are going to fall straight down. Yep, dang it. I can only stand so close to it. You know, hopefully catch it, but nope. Didn't catch it. Caught that one. Seal that back up. Okay. Um, yeah, let's try going up that way. I have no idea if that's actually the right way to go, but... We'll give it a shot and see what happens. Cause I don't remember being next to a lava waterfall, but it's possible I didn't see it. Okay, and am I in the right place? Um, I'm not seeing the tunnel anywhere. <laughs> um, well, I remember I had to walk through. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I do remember walking through a little hole in the wall like this, and then boom! Yes! I guessed correctly. Woohoo! Perfect. All right. So, um, with not having this tunnel complete yet, the downside is, is since there's, n I want to have, like, basically there's going to be rails kind of go to like this, it'll, and it'll hit the power, and it'll send you up. I haven't been able to test to see if the upward power works. Oh, I don't have all the, the rails in here. Well, that's okay. The power rails, every uh, every lamp. Um, I, I'm hoping that every fifth one here will be enough power for going up, for climbing up this. I haven't been able to test it yet since it doesn't go all the way down. Because if you set one on here now, and it won't push up. It'll slide down due to gravity. But, uh, and then up here, it's every tenth, just so you know. Because, I mean, even then, that's not necessary, but I like it. It's not, it makes it for me, makes it easy for me to count and plan, okay, uh, you know, how many rails do I need? How many power, power rails do I need? It's a nice, easy count for me. So, all right. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.